Here we go. Down the Buffalo River. Hey y'all, this is Dan with the Southern Paddler Channel. Today we're on the Buffalo River near Waynesboro, Tennessee. And for me, this is where it all started. The first place I went canoeing and where I realized that I love this activity. I was probably five, six, seventh grade, something like that. I, I can't remember. Pretty sure it's fifth or sixth. First time. Loved it. Loved it ever since. But it wasn't necessarily on this particular stretch of the river. I think it was the lower. I'm with a Crazy Horse Outfitters. And uh, their most popular trip is a 10 miler that starts at their outpost and goes down to Slink Shoals. But because it is their most popular and they have hundreds and hundreds of people come through every day, I thought I'd do their upper trip, which I believe is Topsy Road, back to their outpost. And it's an eight mile trip. Put in with a bunch of people. We'll see quite a few along the way, but it won't be anything like their their main trip. Hey, how y'all doing? Doing good. I decided to use my audio today, which means I have to put on my little lapel mic and have my digital recorder going. And, and when I do that, that means I pretty much need to wear my PFD. I guess I could get a lanyard and put the recorder in my pocket and do it that way, but I don't know. It's just easy to put on my PFD and it has several pockets in it and I can just kind of stuff it in there and it works. Good place to clip on the mic. The problem is, if I'm really honest, is I feel like a dork wearing my PFD. It's bad enough going down the river with these cameras sticking up off there. It's, uh, you know, you get some looks and stares, and every now and then, you know, somebody will ask, oh, you recording? I mean, them GoPros? And, and that's fine. I don't necessarily mind that, but, you know, I'm not one that necessarily likes drawing attention to myself, but the cameras kind of cause that already, and and then wearing a PFD adds to it because, I mean, let's be honest, nobody wears their PFD on these trips. And it's not, you know, and I know it's the safe thing to do. And, it, and if if it's going to be dangerous or real treacherous, I, I feel like, then I'll, I'll wear it. And I'll wear it at night uh, when I'm out, if I'm paddling at night. But for the most part, I, I just don't wear them on these trips. And it's not a law. It is the law that you have to have your life vest with you and on the boat but it's not a law that you have to wear it so you know when you wear one on these trips and not many people do you you kind of stand out for that reason too although i learned something new today that i heard one of the staff workers from crazy horse telling somebody you can't tie your pfd down i thought that's interesting and it makes sense you know he said you can sit on it you can lay it in the bottom of your boat you don't have to wear it but you also can't tie it down and that's something i've actually done a lot in the past is keep it kind of bungeed on either my front or back deck but I'm going to have to uh, reevaluate that. Of course, the problem is if you turn over, then you, know, you lose it. So, One thing I want to do in this video is give a shout out to Dollar General. I know it's kind of a running gag that they just pop up everywhere and there's I've seen memes where they're like on the moon or Mars or something, you know, whatever. And they are seemingly everywhere, but 
that uh, definitely helped me out today. I, I run out of the house, thought I had everything together, and I did pretty good. I, the only things I forgot was that I probably, well, the one thing I forgot that I really needed was my water shoes. I also forgot my hat, which probably would come in handy because so far it's been uh, a lot of sun on this stretch of the river. It, there might be some shade, but but my water shoes are the main thing. I forgot those, so I'm driving along and I'm about 30 minutes away past the Dollar General. I thought, perfect, I'll just pull in there. And sure enough, they had some little water slides and I got those, got me a bag of ice for my drinks. And so thankfully I was able to pick up an item that I needed How's it going? Good. Hope this works. Ooh, tight squeeze. How's it going? Great. Good. Well, we made it. I think. <laughs> no problem. I do. Yep. It's called Southern Paddler. Yep. I, uh, I live in North Alabama, but I go around and and uh, I like kayaking, and I usually record my trips and just kind of put the videos up there to Southern Paddler. Yep. Yeah. You want to be on the video? Yeah. All right. This one's facing. Let's see. That one's facing forward. All right. There you go. Wave at the camera. All right. Where are you from? Corinth. Corinth? Yeah. Mississippi? Port Mississippi. I've been through there. That's a pretty, let's see, probably a couple hour drive for y'all, isn't it? No, it's about an hour and a half. Okay. 
Well, that, yeah, mine was about a two-hour drive. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Good. Yeah, cameras. Catching action, you know. <laughs> Well, Lionel Richie is one thing I didn't expect to hear on the river. It's the first time for everything. I don't know if you heard back there, it's, you know, a lot of times I, going by and you'll hear people say GoPro and cameras and man, you get that thing wired up, you know, which is cool. You know, I don't, I don't mind. And I probably should, um, I don't know, maybe I should engage those people more and talk about my channel. I've just, I'm not a marketer. That is not my skill set and I don't like doing it. And, you know, if somebody asks, I'll tell them, but I don't want to look like I'm selling something or pushing something and it's just me i'm a terrible marketer but that's that's not why i do this matter of fact that's you know i wanted to talk about that this is looks like a good stretch there's i don't see anybody around so i made the comment i'm not a good marketer and i don't do this to to market and to you know get a bunch of likes and subscribers and stuff i mean obviously i'd love to have a a lot of people subscribed and watching my videos, but it's that's not the reason I do it. The reason I do this, kind of like what I mentioned earlier, is that I did this for the first time in fifth or sixth grade and absolutely loved it. And there was just something about being in, and of course at that time everything was canoes. Kayaks weren't popular at all, and you hardly ever saw them. I think they were around, but most rental places was canoes only. And so I did it the first time, fifth or sixth grade, loved it. I went with, uh, my parents used to kind of help with the youth group. This was back before churches had full-time youth ministers. And there would just be several uh, adult couples that would kind of lead the youth group and take them on trips and do things. And so my parents did that with several others. And one of the things they did each year was take the teenagers from church to bring them up here to the Buffalo River to canoe for the day and of course you know since my parents went I got to go too even before I was technically old enough to, to be in a youth group but I loved it it was so much fun and um, and just from that moment I just this was just something I loved this the the beauty of being out in nature um, the sights and sounds of birds and crickets and frogs and hearing the water babbling over the rocks and through the rapids and it was just being outside, being in the sun, and even just being in a boat. You know, the paddling has never bothered me. I enjoy paddling. And uh, I just, I love doing it. And a couple, two, three years ago, I bought a couple kayaks, started going on my own a lot. And then this winter, I thought, hey, why don't I try this, getting some action cameras. And man, this is current with this tricky, I mean, this tricky with this current. that limb. Oh, we made it. 
made it. But just being out here and doing this, I enjoy it. And being in the boat and paddling and, you know, you're just, if you want to go fast, you go fast. You want to go slow, you go slow. You can go to the right side, the left side. You just, you're in command of your boat and, and it's just fun. I enjoy it, everything about it. And so my channel started with, hey, I, I'm already doing it. Why don't I just share the pictures and sights and sounds? And if people like it, they like it. And if they don't, that's fine. Not everybody does. But I love it. And so I do this because I enjoy it. And maybe some others can enjoy it too. Cameras or what? Cameras. Cameras. Yep. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel called Southern Paddler. And uh, I just... Have you really? Yes, sir. Yeah, check it out. I, uh, yeah, I'm uh, out of Decatur, Alabama, but I just go to different creeks and rivers around and yes, just kind of record the, record the scenery and. Pay good. No, if you you got to have thousands and thousands of subscribers. Yeah, I've got 53. So, <laughs> but yeah, you got to man, you got to be up in the probably tens of thousands before you can even think about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man. I just, I love it. two or three videos I've watched of you, but it's yeah. pretty good. I, pre I just started this year, yeah. Yeah. What's the name of it, eh? Southern Paddler. Southern, yeah, Southern Paddler. Yep. Are we, on yeah. The, are we on the channel? Man, yeah, you're on it. <laughs> I'll make you famous. <laughs> well, maybe not with 53 subscribers, but it's a start, right? <laughs> That's right. You got to start somewhere. That's right. It might be. All right, I appreciate it. All right, Southern you, yep, Southern Paddler. Y'all from around here? Okay. All right, nice to meet y'all. You know, as you see there, most people are are really nice, and they just out here having a good time. They enjoy doing this too, and and. Uh, it's it is it's fun to meet people and that enjoy the same things and you know and, and speaking of you know why I did this I, I mentioned earlier that the main reason is obviously that I just I love canoeing and kayaking and being on the water and I love nature and I wanted to share these trips but you know kind of another reason I decided to start doing this is because about two and a half um, getting maybe getting close to three years ago I dropped cable. I kept my internet, but I dropped cable because it, you know, it was just a lot of money, and I wasn't watching it that much. And the only thing I ever really watched that was uh, college football. I love college football, but and I do miss that. But uh, other than that, I thought, you know, man, I could save sixty, seventy, almost seventy bucks a month, and uh, and with two boys in college, every penny counts. So I dropped my cable, and and uh, but I kept my internet, so. Uh, and I had Netflix even when I dropped the cable and I, you know, watched that a little bit, but then that kind of got old and, and, uh, I thought one day I, you know, I've got a smart DVD player that's internet enabled. And so that's how I would watch Netflix and it had YouTube as one of the apps. So I thought, hey, I'll get on YouTube and just see what's out there. And, you know, anybody can post anything up there. So it don't matter what you're into planes or trains or or history stuff and war it just there's people that's interested in the same thing that makes videos about the things that they enjoy and they uh, you know that that are of interest to them and so when i got on youtube and i stumbled across a couple of kayakers that had uh, had youtube channels and i think one of the very first ones that i that i noticed uh, or came across was uh trip smith and uh, I started watching his videos and loved them. He's a, and of course now some of these guys too, and this, this helps them out. That you know they're good entertainers, and Trip is, and it's it's just fun to watch his videos. And so from watching him, then um, I came across several other YouTube kayakers like uh, Pete from River Kings, uh, Shane from Monkeying Around, and um, wandering electrician several of those guys and just really enjoyed watching their kayak camping videos and you know i thought man i want to you know put some of my trips on there and so i back in the winter i got some cameras and uh went on a couple trips in the winter started getting used to having the cameras and it's a i tell you it's a lot of work remembering the gear everything you need you know cameras and batteries and sd cards and bringing that stuff along and keeping it dry and keeping your full cards separate from your empty cards <clears throat> keeping your 
you know, drain batteries in separate from your new ones and then getting uh, your mounts right to where they, you get good angles and, and then tethering your cameras down with a paracord. You can see that orange cord that I use that uh, that's in case you turn over and they break off or fall off, which, and that happens too. I've broken three or four mounts and poles and so you have your cameras tied up so that you can retrieve them and those uh, tether cords have helped me save my cameras at least three different times. This work, but it's fun. Um, even the videos, you know, that's a lot of work to put the videos together. It's sometimes frustrating, probably mainly because I'm mm -hmm. using budget software and uh, I have a decent machine. I could have a better one, but I, it's just, uh, you know, it takes money really, you know, and the more money you spend, the better cameras you get, the better resolution, better footage you're going to get, or at least a better, um, you know, quality of, of footage. Your, a lot of your footage is just depends on, you know, how you have it set up and what you film, what you video, but, but you get better resolution, better quality from uh, nicer cameras. Uh, you have more options and better, uh, exported videos with with higher end software like i said it's all money and like a lot of things you know you do get what you pay for and so i i do a lot of budget stuff and sometimes things just barely work and i have to finagle it and and you know it's frustrating but but when it does work and when it comes together it's fun and i enjoy it and and i just i like sharing the videos and anyway i think i kind of got off track but my point in that watching these other YouTubers was, uh, you know, realizing that especially for some people just like getting on YouTube and looking for ideas or diff something different. And, and like for me, it became my primary source of entertainment. When I dropped cable, you know, I, just, I go to YouTube and, and watch videos uh, when I have time. And, and I thought, hey, I could put some videos out there. Maybe people, you know, who are interested in kayaking and outdoor stuff when they have time, they can they'll come across my videos and watch them and, and that's really what it was it was not only sharing the trips that i knew i was already going to be on but it was um, hoping that you know as a lot of entertainment shifted towards internet based uh you know videos and away from cable and tv you know just uh you know kind of jump in the mix i'm not trying to make money off of it or or be a superstar it's just I just enjoy doing this and I want to share what I do and uh, and right now it's fun to do it so I'll keep doing it as long as it's fun all right so I mentioned that having these cameras and doing all this can be a hassle and it can be and one example is probably the last 15 minutes that I was talking and saying stuff that I wanted to use on the video, uh, my cameras were dead. So having to stop, and not only just stop, but having to track your time and know about when the cameras are going to run out. And I knew when they were, but I failed to keep an eye on the time. So I have to stop, and after I get about an hour in the heat, now when it's cooler, these batteries will go a little longer, but in the sunlight, I get about an hour of record time on each camera. So I have to track the time and know when it's time to change the battery. So I'll change them, I'll get another hour. Then, when I change them the second time, I'll have to change the SD cards because they fill up. And they make SD, these are 64 gig SD cards. They make bigger ones, but one of my cameras won't handle more than 60 gig, 64 gig. It can't handle that format or that size. This one that I'm holding might, but I had problems with my first version of this camera. Had to get a replacement. And one of the things I did was decide to go back to only using a 64 gig card but keeping up with the time changing the batteries and now that I've taken the batteries out I've got to keep my full batteries I mean my drain batteries oh, 
crap. And I just dropped it in the water. See what I mean? Gum it. That sucks. I think it's sealed. Just <clears throat> maybe the connections connectors won't corrode, but crap. Man, there's some serious horsepower on that boat, isn't it? <laughs> I am. Yep, I got a camera there facing back, and then that one's facing forward. I try. I got a YouTube channel called Southern Paddler. Uh, just around uh, North Alabama and Southern Tennessee. Uh, do what? Today's your birthday? That's awesome. Well, happy birthday. Six years old. That is cool. I haven't done the Cahaba yet. Um, I've seen some people talk about that. You know. it's, it's, it's a long way. So Does it? It depends. Uh, uh, the hatchet's nice. Hatchet, where's that? It, it's down there, runs through Pusa uh, County, I guess, uh, right north of Clanton, if you know where that is. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. Right north of there, uh, it runs a long way. There's several uh, water, I mean, that's the watershed, but there's several creeks that run off of it. We, we go kayaking. Okay. <laughs> well, they're in a case that makes them waterproof. The cameras themselves aren't, but those little plastic case they're in is waterproof. But, uh, Yep, yep, that one's facing back, so it's looking this way, and then that one's facing forward and behind me. What was your YouTube channel? Southern Paddler. Southern Paddler. Yep. So, uh, like, how much, do you know how many likes you have? Well, I just started back in uh, January or February, so I've only got about 53 subscribers right now. So, that's not a lot, but, you know. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good start. Hopefully, I'll get a few more. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a good boat. This is a Jackson Riviera. Yeah, it's so flat and smooth. It is. I like kind of being close to the water and and uh and it's pretty comfortable too. That's another good thing, you know. I, I saw you catch one earlier. You have any other luck? Not really. Really? <laughs> I caught one a one good size one. Mm. About two and a half pounder, but that was it. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So. It's funny because it was the only lure I had. Second cast I threw. Really? The biggest bass I've ever caught all day. That makes me happy. Yeah. I don't fish much anymore, but used to when I did, the chartreuse rooster tail was my go-to lure. I just I love that thing. <laughs> you never know what you're going to catch on a, on a night crawler. Yeah. You know, and you're always going to catch something so it's far. Yeah, it's just like now, you know, when I do fish, I just like, I use crickets or worms, you know, put it on a bobber, and I just like throwing it out and watching it, you know. So, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I just throw that bobber out and just sit there and watch it. I enjoy that. So, hey, how y'all doing? Good. Yeah, yeah, I got my cameras going.